okay so continuing with the lecture number 5 so currently you, this is what we have done so now moving further what we will do is uh, go with the uh, creation of the patty so it would be something like 100% since the box is 50 by 50 pixels so the width 100% will be 50 pixels and since there are 3 so let's say I put 25 uh, uh, as the height of the each and every patty so what will be remain is 25 so 25 divided by 3 is 8.33 percent so margin top so that uh, okay so that we can know there is a gap between the three lines that are designed in the patty okay so let's remove the background from the hamburger block element so right now there is nothing here so let's just say we might have done some kind of mistake so we are at the nav hamburger okay so i haven't saved the uh, this common mistake i do is that i don't make the patties and just make their classes and then get confused where the hell is the ui that is supposed to be constructed so kindly make sure that in CSS is actually applied to some HTML element. So you can see here there is a small gap. This is 8.3 percent gap. So if I remove this gap, you will realize that it will look like it's a single box element. So this is actually a margin property. Okay. So this is how it will work. Okay. Now that we have done this, okay, let me remove this. We will explain this later. So it would be something like this now. Okay so what we have to do is when i hover on the hamburger it should open and close the vertical menu just like we uh, i have explained to you in zebfm.org website so based on that first of all our menu is always exposed here so by default it should be hidden so it should be clear that if this is the screen let's say this is the screen then the menu is on the top right okay so when it's closed it should be outside the screen and when we open it it should come like this as if it's sliding towards the screen and get it visible okay so for that let's say i write margin right minus 100 percent so why i wrote this is that because since our position fixed property has the origin of top right so only margin right and top will work okay so saying that hiding it towards the right through margin right property should be in the negative value because if you write margin right it will do something like this uh, margin right and it will shift it towards the left side so let's say i write 200 299 pixels so it's shifting like this okay so but if i do it in the negative value so 200 pixel it will hide 200 pixel towards the negative side so setting it at 100 percent means that total width of the navigation bar is hidden outside the domain of the visible ui section okay so now we know what we did so then let's come towards what is the pseudo classes which is the actual agenda of this class is there we are going to explain what pseudo classes can do so for example let's say dot nav hamburger please note that i have uh, used dot uh, nav hamburger instead of the patty so after that this area is called as the pseudo class and this is a hover class so whenever i apply it towards the so hover it should do something as an animation effect so let's say i have written background red so it will do something like this as you can see on navigation hover it's actually working and on hover effect it's showing something like this but we don't need that we need to show that whenever i apply the hover on the na uh, nav hamburger what we uh, what i want is that it's child element uh, sorry not a child element but another element known as the nav should uh, have a effect of margin right at zero but if we do this something like this so it will not affect because 
Nav is not the element of the child and this space means child element. So putting a plus sign here, let's try with that. It's another class and it's not still giving any kind of, uh, let's say, effect. So if I put like this, you can see here that this hamburger has some uh, effect, but it's not actually working. So if I put combinator here of terminator sign, now it's still not giving. So that means we need something that actually calls this element. So if I put it, uh, it if I put this navigation bar after the nav hamburger, since nav hamburger is on the top, and if I write something like this, now it should work on one of this, one of these combinators. So let's try all the combinators that are possible. So space, acha. First thing is that I have written here is dot nav. It's actually a nav bar because we are working on uh, tag nav. So let's check what happens. As you can see, the terminator sign is actually working. But let's try plus sign. It's still working, okay? So if I write only space and now I run it, it's not working. Why? Because space means the child element. So even if I put a single space to just check that maybe there is some kind of word, it will not work. Okay. So the plus sign says that it means not a child element but any other element that is coming after the nav hamburger. But if I write plus right now, it will not work. Or if it's working, that means it's it's not the element that is before. Uh, the, actually that means that the element name nav tag is actually placed after the, after the element that is being hovered so it's not working as you can see so it means it should work on terminator let's try it's again not working so what the hell do we do is that we put it after the nav hamburger okay now if i run it it will work so this is actually telling you that when i hover the other element it's affecting the other element so what which element i'm hovering this nav hamburger and not even the petty actually this nav hamburger but since this is a parent so it will also work when i hover at the petty so what happens is that the next element that is coming after is that is nav will work so if i write plus sign and let's try it now it will still work so this means that terminator signs and plus signs work so the science behind this is that the plus sign means next element and uh, plus sign means next element and that should be the closest element like this is nav is the closest for the nav hamburger but the logo class might not work okay so if i write something like uh, instead of this i write logo which is a third element it's not second it's third element sorry first second is nav then is logo so if i apply on logo and just write background red let's see what happens it's not working why because plus means the next immediate element and that is only nav okay so the first one is called the immediate element so if i write terminator here now i run it and you can see the red effect is working okay so I hope this one is very much clear to you and you will start practicing on it. So just for the case of uh, the argument which one is the efficient here, since we just want to hover and just affect the nav tag, so we will bless nav uh, plus sign here. We don't need the terminator sign which is like this. But this is not good. We just want the immediate element to have some effect. So it's now working wow it's looking good it's not bad it's fine life is good okay so that means our menu is actually triggering the navigation to open and close now let's give it some smoothing animation because this aesthetic animation is good not good so i can tell the browser that kindly make this nav on any kind of animation like move left move right with margin padding uh, resize like width or height just don't show me immediately that it's coming out show me into number of frames like in animation it's called 60 frames per second 30 frames per second so it's a smoothing animation 
as uh, if you don't remember that in the old times cartoons were made so let me repeat it because recording was uh, closed what i am trying to say is that uh, in previous cartoons you can see that there were thousands of different pages with different uh, 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 let's say impressions of the characters like sometimes they are moving their arms slowly so each page would be in each frame so here in this case it's important that we show that it's not a single frame but it is divided into 30 frames so that's why i've written here 0 0.3 second it means in a in in every uh, in 0 0.3 seconds show me this moving animation so it will try to complete the number of frames and calculate it automatically and show here so you can see wow this is so smooth and looks so sleek and it was just a single line called transition which converted this animation into a smoothing animation so what happened here is that now you can see it's now a smoothing effect i hope this is very much clear okay so after doing this the next thing we are to do is give hamburger a beautiful petty animations okay for that we will use a new pseudo class instead of hover we will use end child okay so for that we will say nav hamburger and uh, hover then dot petty and and then we will write end child the first element so what i will do is whenever it's hover and let's give petty also some transition element okay so for the uh, for avoiding bugs let's put this here so our petty hover effect does not say that I, that petty is not yet created and you want to do our effect how is that possible are you making me crazy or not let's just say browser is a human and it's arguing like that okay so don't judge me i'm just giving an example so let's say the first element in child means out of these three when it's the classes named petty it will only call for the first because i have said in child one so i'm saying uh, transform you can write right it uh, directly rotate but i'm writing transform rotate let's just say 90 degree let's just check how this does this work okay you can see here x is moving but we don't want 93 degree we want 45 degree so you can see here it is now working properly okay so the petty 2 should be minus 45 degree because it's uh, it will create the x shape like that so number 2 will be minus 45 degree so as you can see here the x has been made but there is one issue of margin since we have placed margin here we have to remove the margin property so margin 0 and margin zero okay so let's just check now okay so maybe putting instead of 8.3 uh, 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 sorry 8.33 uh, uh, percent uh, we can do is check and inspect element and keep doing it until we are satisfied with the x being constructed so let's just say this is petty number one and i'm putting here minus 8.33 percent okay here in the first one and also margin minus 8.33 percent so uh, this should be margin top and this should be margin top okay so uh, let's just say no it's still not good so what could be the cause uh, we can deduce it something like uh, let's say put each and every margin with zero first okay so i'm also putting margin zero here too and let's just calculate and uh, remove these rotate for a while and now remember that after doing margin we also uh, did was that there is around 25 percent of height gap between the two we have to overlap these two to the equal position so what we can do is put the second element at margin top 
माइनस एट पॉइंट थ्री 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 परसेंट और लेट्स जस्ट से फाइव परसेंट ओके नाउ दे आर इक्वली एट द सेम प्लेस तो नाउ व्हेन आई क्रिएट एक्स इट शुड बी इक्वल एज यू कैन सी इट्स इक्वल नाउ ओके सो द थर्ड एलिमेंट शुड नाउ बी डिस्प्ले नन ओ माय वेट इट्स जस्ट वी हैव टू क्रिएट सुडो क्लास फॉर इट सो मार्जिन जीरो मार्जिन जीरो फॉर द फर्स्ट वन बट फॉर द सेकेंड वन आई विल से मार्जिन टॉप माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट सो देट इट्स ऑल्सो जीरो बट इट शुड ओवरलेप विद द फर्स्ट वन सो देट एक्स इज प्रॉपरली क्रिएटेड ओके सो नाउ द थर्ड एलिमेंट विल बी सॉरी नॉट ट्वेंटी थर्ड थर्ड सो ट्वेंटी थर्ड एलिमेंट शुड बी opacity zero okay so let's just check how this makes it wow beautiful beautiful okay so uh, let's also give it a more proper positioning since it's overlapping with a uh, uh, top position so nav hamburger uh, it also makes us sure that due to giving it a very less top and uh, right what we can do is tell this application to give it 20 and 20 pixel and check now okay so now this is complete x as you can see and it looks good you can see it yourself okay uh, so giving it a more hover effect now what this hover effect will do it will directly effect the nav hamburger instead of the pseudo elements that i have called through pseudo classes okay so margin top should be 30 px so let's see how does it look okay so this is way too much so margin top 20 pixels uh maybe i should try top instead of margin top okay it's looking good beautifully so this shows that how you will do it okay so continuing with this x this beautiful transition of closing and opening the vertical menu so it's not always that you can put the vertical menu from right to left it's up to you so let's say you are putting it in margin top area and although it's deep but for learning you can do it so let's say now i refresh from margin top instead of margin right so it will give you something like this okay so i have to give it a, oh my bad it's margin top zero now okay so this doesn't look that bad i didn't expect it to look so good but fine okay let's put this menu as is this can also work in mobile view so if i can test it just for the sake of the argument so open so it's working properly of course we haven't done responsibly yet but it Does our job properly. So if I put vertical V here instead of parent, okay. So now it should work. This one. Now, oh my God, I just drew wrong units. So what I'm trying to do is show you that if I use viewport unit instead of percent unit. It will give you full menu and close. So this will be the full menu, and let's just assume this is a mobile view. So this is how the menu will look. Okay. So if I say over, so the nav looks something like this. Okay. So margin hundred V X. Now it will look perfectly as it should. Okay, ah, perfect. 
uh, one more thing the width will be now 100 vw instead of 25 vh so what happens is that since normally the screen is so big in context of pcs so giving it 100 percent is illogical so 100 percent something like this would be illogical okay but 25 percent is fine okay so when i'm in mobile view giving it 25 percent is illogical as it will cover only 25 percent of the width so when i now refresh it now this gives a perfect whole menu on the mobile screen so that's what i was trying to tell you so coming back so margin right margin right everything as it should be okay. 100% okay so here it is okay so now this is 100% okay so anyway going further so what i am trying to tell you is that what we did till now is that we created this over effect okay so i'm removing this 100 vw because it's not mobile screen although it doesn't look that bad there are some websites that use 100 percent width for even the navigation menu in desktop screen so maybe give it a full focus that you are currently looking at the menu because when you are looking at the menu you don't need to look at different things okay so this is how it works and this is how it should be now to teach you guys how if this is working through illustration instead of just verbal explanation that i have done till now is that let's say this is hamburger and one two and three so in between there is margin top of 20 pixels okay and height of this element is 30 pixels so we know that to that uh, let's say this position here we know that this will be uh, you can say transparent when we are hovering this because we have to make this x so copying this now and we know that so the x would be something like this okay from first element so it will be 20 45 degree because 90 degree will be complete straight upside okay so 90 degree is right angle and this second petty will be something like this when we say minus 45 degree because what we need is that one should rotate in clockwise and one should rotate in anti-clockwise but the problem is this this x is uh, not a uh, normal x because one side is too big and one side is too small so to bring them to the right position what we can do is uh, let's say i copy this and putting it here so what we can do is first of all why is this happening because uh, there is this 20 percent uh, 20 pixel margin and then this 30 pixel height so this is rotating it's in its own domain that is this box while the upper model is rotating in this box so these two boxes are very different world here you can see this is a different world and the second box that is purple box is creating here so the rotation orientation and direction and the place of rotation or we can say the origin of rotation is different the center point is actually somewhere here for the first box and second box is here okay so there is actually the distance of this that is making the bottom box the bottom box a different area so to do so what we can do is put this element over this element so put let me put set it into transparent over this element okay now when we rotate this box 
first one box will be like something like this and second box will be something like this because now they have same direction same position same orientation so the x will now be properly created mosquito alert shit okay so here what i did was do the same so how i did this was that first to do so i did was tell this 30 px to move 20 pixels top and then move 30 pixels uh, uh, sorry move 20 pixels top then move 30 pixels top so that the second element overlaps the first element now they both have the same orientation direction and their box will be equally same so now i now that i am making their x uh, sorry this is two uh, not looking 45 this is 45 and then the other one at 45 and when i create the box as you can see the box looks same so now they have same dimensions so this is how i created here by giving it margin top of 20 percent so what it did was for the second second box to move 20 percent up because the margin top given to each party is 13.333 percent so the bottom box a bottom petty is actually moving to exact position to make them equally seen so to observe this um, phenomena let's say i go into inspect element okay my bad sometimes chrome just makes me go very angry but that what we have to use sometimes so let's say trigger the hover state through this force state so this inspect element keeps it always on hover so it won't change until you tell it so so let's say petty one is at 45 degree fine the second petty is where you have to shift it to the upper direction so let's say i remove this rotate effect now that i remove rotate effect you can see so when i remove these rotate effects as you can see the second element and first element are on equal position so what i did was simply the height of the petty is 20 percent okay and second petty is also 20 percent so when i tell it to move 20 percent tops so what it does is this uh 13.33 percent was already given to it so let's say it, at zero it's something like this but by default we gave it sorry by default we gave it 13.33 percent so when i go like this it goes to this is the zeroth position fine now i'm giving it back of 20 percent minus 20 percent okay so it actually does is it negates the 13.33 percent first something like this let's say first what it does is technically it's the margin top of um, 20 pixels right so if i remove those 20 pixel margin it goes to margin top of zero now i'm telling it don't go to zero go to exact same point as the first petty to overlap it so it means i say go in negative direction because after zero comes negative direction so it goes like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 30 14 15 to 30 px so now it actually does is this that first is first it negates the 13.33 value to margin top of zero then it goes into negative direction to reach its point and this value comes from the petty's height if petty's height is 20 percent that means to overlap the first petty we have to go 20 minus 20 percent to the top that's how the x animation works so finally this is how the animation effect is working i hope this lecture was clear and understood by you and you will practice it at your home and kindly do some practice on hover effect 
and then these combinators like plus and the other one I think was terminator sign but terminator sign is not used by us there are cases where you can use it so just for the sake of argument I uh, think I gave it but let's repeat it again so dot logo and then background right so this terminator sign means not the immediate element after nav hamburger because immediate element is nav and that can only be detected by this plus sign i am talking about terminator that any other element that comes after nav hamburger with the value of class logo so it would be something like this now you can see you can trigger other effects so kindly use these combinators plus uh, terminator and only space this space is also a combinator so these are three different combinators okay so and so far we have learned two different uh, pseudo classes hover and n child okay so i hope this lecture was very clear thank you and allah hafiz and if you hear baba baba in the background please understand i am a family man and i have a daughter